dress for some of you ladies when you get out. <laughs> And a little present for you. I didn't know Boston Blackie was a magician. There isn't a trick he doesn't know. Have we time for one more trick, Warden, before the Thanksgiving dinner? Let's have it. Good. Ladies, you are now gazing upon the Phantom Cabinet. With the use of this box and three little magic words, I can cause anyone to disappear. I assure you, Warden, the disappearance will be only temporary. <laughs> now, I'll need the assistance from someone in the audience, please. Who'll help me? Oh, come, come, ladies. Surely there must be one of you who'd like to disappear. I'll give you a hand. Would you mind coming up on the stage, please? Why not? Thank you so much. May I ask your name, please? 31329. <laughs> Dinah Moran. Thank you, Miss Moran. Would you mind stepping to the other side of the cabinet, please? Why not? I want to call your attention, ladies, to the fact that there are no trap doors, mirrors, or secret panels. Nothing but magic. And now, Miss Moran, will you step in the cabinet, please? And now we say the magic words. Nickadacker, Pollywacker, Chigglesaw. Will you help me, please, sir? Surely. Now watch closely. And now, ladies, it's time to bring Miss Moran back. So once again, I'm going to say the magic words. Nickadacker, Pollywacker, Chigasaw. Quiet there. Take it easy. Walk. It's a break, Warden. Meadows called it in from the South Tower. Who was it? Could they tell? No, sir. Too dark. She jumped the garbage truck. Get everybody back in their cells. Phone Inspector Faraday right away. Tell him I'm sending Boston Blackie to him under guard. Yes, sir. Why, Warden? Because he's a lonely man and hates to eat his Thanksgiving dinner by himself. I'll give you three guesses why. You know that you've prevented my enjoying a Thanksgiving dinner in the bosom of my family. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Inspector. You know, the two prison guards and I stopped off on the way down here, and we had the most wonderful breast of turkey. Oh, <laughs> oh I suppose you imagine that's funny. Well, you have to think about it a little while, Chief, before you get it. Homicide. Inspector Faraday speaking. Yeah. Not a trace of her, huh? Yeah. What? Now, wait till I write that down. Well, it doesn't make much sense, but maybe it'll help. Okay, thanks. I found this note under the mattress in Dinah's cell. Mean anything to you? Lamp is being married next Sunday. Well, I don't know, Inspector. Is it supposed to mean something? Why don't you stop being coy, Blackie? You know you arranged the escape of Dinah Moran. Oh, you're talking through your cheap hat. Talking through my hat, am I? And it's not cheap. I suppose it was just a big happy coincidence, the box trick, the disappearance in the garbage truck. Well, maybe. And then again, maybe it wasn't. You know, you're overlooking two important little points, Inspector. 
First, I've been giving that same show every Thanksgiving at the prison for the past five years. Now, Dinah Moran knew that. Maybe it fitted in with her plans. And second, her prison record states that she was formerly in show business as a magician's assistant. Yeah. It would make it easier for you two to work together. That's what it proves. And why wasn't the runt with you? Prisoners make him nervous. Oh, <laughs> shut up. What beats me is why she wanted out so badly with only six months to go before parole. Well, I'd want out with only six months to go. Come on, Blackie, tell me. How does it work? Get up, Inspector. I can't. You see, it's against the rules of the Magician's Union. The rabbits might pick at me. I'd like to <laughs> third the... Why don't you let Matthews hunt for the secret panel? Why should I let Matthews hunt for a secret panel? Because there isn't any, and then you won't be embarrassed. I'm serious. And I'm bored. All right, Matthews, examine that box thoroughly. Come on, Blackie. Tell me how she got away, and I'll... I'll send out and get you a big turkey sandwich. Well, that's very nice of you, Inspector. <laughs> you tell me, and I'll send out and get you one. Do you think I'd be silly enough to help somebody break jail? The warden asked me to put on the show, and I asked for somebody to help me. You mean you helped her? I never saw before in my life. You're getting yourself all confused there, Blackie. If you want to see someone really confused, get a load of Sergeant Matthews. Matthews, ah. get out of that box. <laughs> it might interest you to know, Blackie, that we have a very fine amateur magician right here on the police force. Good. You'll need him. Matthews? Matthews! Will you stay out of that box? What watch is Patrolman Peterson working? Oh, he's in the, uh, uh, oh, in the desk sergeant's office. I'll go get him. No, you watch. You'll stay here and watch Blackie. I'll go in and talk to Peterson myself. Better keep that cheap hat on. Why? Your amateur magician might produce a Thanksgiving dinner out of it for you. <laughs> the inspector seems mad about something. He ain't happy. I'm gonna find that secret panel and know why. Yeah, you do that. Let me out of here. Matthews! Let me out of here. Blackie! Blackie! <laughs> I'm over here, Matthews. Oh, I just heard you in here. It sounded just like you. <laughs> it's an old ventriloquial trick I've learned. Do you want to try it? No. I don't want to try nothing with you. You'd be the head of the party. I'd rather be the head of the police department. All right. And keep you here. Well, Matthews, you'll never be the head of the police department as long as Faraday treats you the way he does. Yeah. I guess you're right. Why, sure. I'm tired of being the stumbling block for him. Yeah. You know, I like you, Matthews. I really do. Yeah? And I have a good mind to... You got a good mind to what? Show you how this box works. Then you'll have it all over Faraday, and it'll serve him right. Oh. Yeah. Good. Oh, no, I better not. No. Oh, come on, Blackie. Look, you won't need it anymore. You're going to spend the rest of your life in prison anyway. Oh, thanks. Now you're being mean to me. Me? Yes. I think I'll take my 50 cents back. Oh, Blackie, no more tricks, please. <laughs> All right. Now pay attention so you'll know how this thing works. You really going to show it to me? I'm going to show it to you. You ready? Yeah. Well, get in. Oh, no, you don't, wise guy. You get in. <laughs> All right. Now, I asked Dinah Moran to step in the box like this. See? Then I pull the curtain. Are you watching? I pull the curtain slowly like this. Then I said the magic words. Nickanacker, Pollywhacker, Chickasaw. And I opened the curtain. What then? I said, what then? Oh, Blackie, that is wonderful. Blackie, Blackie, where are you? Come out of here. Blackie, come out, come out, wherever you are. Blackie. 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 Blackie, where are you? Blackie. Blackie, where are you? Blackie, come out, come out, I'll shoot. Come out. Blackie, come out, come out, I'll shoot. What are you doing, playing marbles? Come out, Blackie, or I'll shoot. Get out of that. I've lost him. You lost who? Blackie. Huh? He was showing me how the box worked, and I... Get out into that hall and look around. What did I ever do to deserve an assistant like you? You...
Oh, you scared me for a minute. I thought it was Blackie. I ought to threaten. There's no one in the hall. Clean as a whistle. Now, are you satisfied? All I asked you to do was to keep your eyes on him. And what did you do? I kept my... Shut up! I didn't say anything. <laughs> Head of the party. Use corn silk? Chief! Hey, Chief! I got him! I got him! Chief! I got him! Good work, Matthews. Where is he? He's in the box. Uh-huh. Come on, Blackie. Come. But I saw him there. And I see you, too, walking a beat out in the country. Way out in the country! Now stay here and see that nobody steals the desk. Oh, who would want to steal a desk? Oh. Knickerbocker, Pollyanna, Saginaw. Knickerbocker, Pollyanna, Saginaw. Well, congratulations, Matthews. You've learned the magic words. Oh, thank you. Oh, gee! Hey, gee! I got him! He's back again. Now, just a minute, Matthews. If you're playing another game, I'll... Cross my heart. He's there this time for sure. He better be. All right, Black... But he, he was just there. Matthews, there's a limit to human endurance. Uh, maybe Blackie doesn't know it. I'm talking about you. I'm not tired. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Are you coming out? Okay, watch out for your head. Trying to give the chief the idea that I'm not right, huh? Well, take that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Where's the trick box you wanted me to analyze, Inspector? There. There it is, Mr. Peterson. Matthews, you moron, you've destroyed the evidence! Say, Inspector, I was looking outside the window and I saw Boston Blackie getting into a cab. Did you let him go? No, Mr. Snodgrass, no. I didn't let him go. Ex-Sergeant Matthews let him go. What's this about Boston Blackie? I thought he'd straightened out. Straightened out? Blackie's like a well-used telephone cord. You straighten it out one day and the next it's tangled up worse than ever. In my opinion, Blackie's too crooked ever to straighten out. Is it okay to print that you had him? And then he got away? <laughs> Mr. Jackson, please sit down. Look, son, between you reporters and my office, there's always been a very cordial understanding. Would you mind not saying that Blackie has escaped? The commissioner will find it out soon enough. Not for me, he won't. Huh? Hello? Blackie, well, where have you been? Well, you've had me worried. You weren't home all night. 
Yeah, now listen, drop everything and meet me at the reading room of the Uptown Public Library. Yeah, right away. Yeah, that's right. We're hot again. Now, will you stop asking so many questions? Meet me in the reading room, Uptown Library. You got it? Good. How's about breaking that Dinah Moran Boston Blackie story, Inspector Faraday? Please, it'll be very embarrassing to me just at this time. Well, it's very embarrassing to me with my city editor just at this time. He wants to know where Blackie is. So, so do we. we. This is Callahan. Give me homicide. Inspector Faraday. Well, get it. Homicide, Sergeant Matthews speaking. Just a minute. It's Callahan wants to talk to you. Yeah, where'd you find out? Public library, eh? Good work, Callahan. Cover that entrance. We'll be right down. All right. You want a story about me capturing Blackie, do you? Yeah. Sit tight, and I'll have a Lulu for you. Come on, Matthews. to make so much noise. I... Hey, what are you doing here anyway? I've got to get some information on the woman named Dinah Moran. Uh -uh. Hey, Blackie, you haven't gone and got yourself behind the eight ball again, have you? No, her number is 31329. Who is this? Three. There it is. Magician and assistant held for murder and theft. John Lampow, vaudeville magician, and his attractive 25-year-old assistant and wife, Dinah Moran, we're taken into custody today, charged with murder in connection with the theft of $100,000 at a party on the bay. Eccentric Adolph Cole was found murdered beside his wall safe. Crying lie to the accusation that she'd been seen following Adolph Cole into the drawing room where he was later found dead. Dinah Moran claims she was on stage with Lampow at the time the murder occurred. Lampow freed, showgirl wife held. Dinah Moran gets three years for robbery. Police fail to find stolen fortune in Lampau Moran case. Well, where do we go from here? We've got to find Lampau. Well, maybe she's heading for him now. <laughs> you know, you're even going to make a good detective someday. <laughs> Onto the table, quick. I'll have a look around, Chief. Funny, I don't see him. Young man, this is a library where people are trying to think. Lady, we ain't here to think. I can certainly believe that. Take off your hat. And that thing in your mouth. Police department, lady. Come on, Matthews, this is just another wild goose chase. Mephistopheles the Great, come on out, and no tricks. Blackie, Blackie, my boy. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you. This is the run. This is an old friend of mine, Mephistopheles the Great, alias Bordeaux. Mr. Member, um, uh, 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 <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> I'd like to meet any friend of Blackie's. Say, give it a call of yourself. Where have you been? Oh, in and out. Huh? I mean, in and out of town. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this is quite a little business you have here. Better than playing one-night stands and going hungry. I can always get a rabbit stew or a pigeon pie. <laughs> sit, sit down, sit down. No, well, I'd rather wander around if you don't mind. Well, same old props. They never change their acts. They've been using the same routine that I've used 20 years ago. <laughs> hey, hey, you got any loaded dice? Oh, certainly. Honest? Dishonest. <laughs> Say, do you remember a fella, oh, uh, what's his name, Lampow, Lamp, that's it, yes, Lampow. 
Oh, of course. Of course, Lalampo, he had the greatest rope trick in the business. That's the fellow. Whatever became of him? Well, he's around somewhere. Funny, I haven't heard of him for years. Sort of disappeared in the thin air. Why the sudden interest in Lampo, Blackie? Oh, just curious, that's all. You're losing your old technique, Blackie. What's the gimmick? Well, to be truthful, I'm in one of my usual jams, and I thought Mr. Lampow might come in handy. This is strictly off the records. Mm -hmm. Honor among thieves. Oh, sure, yeah. Lampo is playing at the Orpheum Theater right now. No. Hey, wait a minute. I think you got that all wrong. I saw the show yesterday afternoon. There's a fellow by the name of Janny here uh, doing with the magic. <laughs> Janny is Lampo. Really? Well, why the name switch? Oh, he got mixed up in some murder and robbery deal. And the publicity, of course, almost ruined him. So he got a new tag and he's packing them in again. Right. This is the biggest rabbit we ever pulled out of a hat. Thank you, old timer, for your help. Come on, kid. Drop it again, Blackie. Say, by the way, don't forget if you have time, I got a new shipment of dice. Oh! Say, honest one. I'll be in! <laughs> Get a seat on the aisle so you'll be able to get out in a hurry. Now, well, why can't I go with you? Because I'm going backstage. I'll meet you at the car as soon as the show is over. Now, on the aisle. Okay, 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 on the aisle. Jenny, I'm Donovan of the Backstage Mirror. Can we have a little chat? Well, oh, come in. Hey, this is my assistant, Miss Eileen. What? Well, how do you do? Hello. Have you caught a rap yet, Mr. Donovan? Mm, no, but I'm looking forward to it. Won't you sit down? Right. I have read the Backstage Mirror for years. Good paper. You have been with it long? No, only about a month. As a matter of fact, I don't know one act from another. You'll get along all right. There are just two things to remember. Be sure to spell the actor's name right and say he is great. <laughs> we had a wonderful run in Cincinnati. Seven weeks to standing room only. Good. Where do you go from here? We are taking a little vacation. Shall we tell him, dear? We're going to be married Sunday. No. Well, congratulations. I'll have to jot that down. Thank you. Does, uh, Dinah Moran spell her name with an H? How do you know about her? What has Dinah Moran to do with it? You're not going to drag that up again, are you? You said you knew nothing about your people. I don't. But I used to be a police reporter, Mr. Lampo. Now look here, old man. You evidently know the whole story. We were divorced. I have not seen Dinah Moran in years. <clears throat> I'm afraid you will. But she's in the penitentiary. Well, she was in the penitentiary up until a couple of hours ago. What did she know? Well, if I know anything about women, she's on her way here. I should like to speak to Mr. Donovan alone. Do you mind, dear? All right. Who are you? What is your racket? Well, I've lost the racket, but I haven't lost the name. I'm Boston Blackie. Boston Blackie? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Well, first, I want to prevent Dinah Moran from taking a pot shot at you. And I want to get her back to the penitentiary so the police won't take a pot shot at me. Did you help her escape? That's what the police say. I would not like Irene to be mixed up in this. Oh, I shouldn't think you would. So, after the trial, I changed my name. From Lampau to Jenny, huh? Then I met Irene. And divorced the woman in prison. What else could I do? Wasn't there a little robbery of some $100,000 involved? Well, you should know the police cleared me. But the public did not. I had to start all over again. Irene encouraged me. She had faith in me. <laughs> she must have. I would not want to go on living without Irene. Yes? Wardrobe. Hello, Miss Moran. What are you doing here? Waiting for you to show up. I wanted to find out how you escaped. You're a magician. You figure it out. What are you going to do? I don't know yet. But I've got a good idea. Now, as a guy who's had a lot of experience both in and out, would you listen to me for a minute? Go ahead. I'm in no hurry. I'm not going any place. Oh, yes, you are, Miss Moran. You're going back to your cell. Who's going to take me? I am. You see, the police are trying to pin your escape on me. There's a lot of things I could explain if you give me time. They gave me time. Three years. And there was nothing I could explain. The judge banged his gavel and it was over. I took the rap.
Get in there, Blackie. You know, you're not being very small. Shut up, keep moving. Yes, ma'am. And now, you double crook. Dinah, please, listen. Where is she? Who? You know who. The woman you're going to marry on Sunday. How do you know that? If you want to get news fast, go to the penitentiary. All I'm here for is my share of the money. The money we were supposed to split after I'd served my time. I haven't any money. You're a liar. Someone stole it. Sure, someone stole it. You stole it. I tell you, I never touched that money. I don't know what it is. I'll give you three to remember. One. Two. Open the door. Open up. Let me out of here. Jenny! Jenny! What happened? I don't know. Let me out of here. Jenny, are you all right? Let me out of here. Are you all right? Yeah, just a scratch. Yeah, let me take a look. Jenny! Oh, well, that's not Jenny. too bad. You better wrap this around her. Right. Where'd she go? Out there. Jenny! Open the door! Have you got a gun? In the trunk. Trunk door. Jenny! Open the door! Now, look. You were fooling around with this gun, and it went off accidentally, see? Yes. I'll verify it. Uh, better let them in. Jenny! Oh. Jenny, are you all right? What happened? Uh, I was fooling around with my prop gun. It is always the unloaded gun. Uh, I shot myself in the wrist. I'd be all right. Uh, come in, dear. Uh, sorry to have caused all this trouble. Now, tell me the truth. What really happened? Dinah Moran was here. What? Where is she now? She went out the window. Took a pot shot at him. Fortunately, he just grazed his wrist. I feel too upset to go on. Now, don't worry. I'll do the show for you. You? Sure. I know enough about magic to get by. If you give me the routine... I might as well tell you, Irene. Mr. Donovan is the notorious Boston Blackie. Boston Blackie? Now, don't be alarmed, dear. This time he's on our side, I hope. Anyway, he knows enough magic to do this one show. Uh, I'd be all right in a little while. Take this off, will you, Johnny? Yeah. Got some stuff I can make a beard and a Good. Now, we open the milk pitcher trick. That's the one with the cone where yeah. you pour the... And the old cigarette routine. Irene will kill you. Fifteen minutes. All right. Hey, Chief, look. Look how big they got your name in the paper. Where do you think you are? I can't seem to convince you, Sergeant Matthews, that we're in a terrible situation. There's nothing wrong with us, Chief. I've got everything covered. Covered? What have you got covered beside the seat of that chair? Well, I got all the runs hideouts in Blackie's apartment. Who have you got staked out in Blackie's apartment? Officer Callahan. Callahan. I'm afraid that's just another Matthews. Yeah, well, he's a pretty good... How did it go? Good. What about you? Oh, I'm all right. How's, uh, how's the wrist? It's fine now. Good. Jenny, I think we ought to call the police. No, no, no. That's the wrong thing to do. Now, believe me, I know what's best. You haven't proved it up till now. Well, I warned you Dinah Moran had escaped. I didn't think she'd catch up with Jenny so fast. She'll try again, too. That's what I'm hoping. If I impersonate you, Jenny, she'll go after me. But you will be taking a big chance. I wouldn't want anything to happen. Oh, only for a few days. Well, I'll take over your spot. You'll get protection, and I'll get a chance to clear myself of the police. I... Please do, dear. Come on, what do you say? All right, then. Good. Now, you'll have to keep out of sight. We'll hide out at a friend's apartment. Well, what is wrong with my apartment? Well, Dinah's liable to show up. Do as he says, Jenny. Don't go to your apartment tonight. What about clothes? You're not going to wear Jenny's turban on the street, are you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I thought I told you to wait at the car. You scared me. I was worried about you, Blackie. There were two wagons and ambulance with Blackie. Oh, that's a friend of mine, Mr. Jenny. How do you do? How do you do? How was the show, Ruff? Oh, terrible. The Jenny's slipping. He's a... What'd you say your name was? Jenny. <clears throat> uh, look, Blackie, I haven't got the car parked right by a fire plug. I'm afraid of a ticket. We're going to Harry Burton's apartment. Come on, Jenny. Make yourself comfortable. What about your friend, Mr. Burton? He's out of town on business. Anything you want, just ask the rug for it. He's a swell cook, too. Oh, thank you. I am very grateful. While I think of it, I wonder what ever happened to that money that Dinah was supposed to have stolen. I've often thought she might have been working with someone else. Someone who kept the money after she was sent to prison. That's possible. No, thanks, sir. May I have the key to your apartment, please? 
Oh, but I thought you wanted In to... In case Dinah calls, I want to be there. Oh. Number 10 Mount Street, apartment 26. 10 Mount Street, huh? Do you always wear that ring? Oh, yes. Would you let me have it, please? Mm -hmm. And uh, the turban. Of course. Keep your eyes open, Ron. He's got a bad scratch on his hand. Take care of it. And make our guests comfortable. Yeah, yeah, but who's going to make me comfortable? Inspector Faraday, if we're not careful. Look, fellas, as soon as I have any information, I'll release it in the regular manner. Regular manner. You didn't release it in the regular manner this morning. Now, wait a minute. I told you I did not give out any story about Boston Blackie. No? Well, how did the Gazette get an exclusive on it? Look, fellas, if you'll just have a little patience, I may have something to tell you soon. As a matter of fact, I've got... Hello! Oh, hello, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, but, Commissioner, I've... Uh... Uh, Mr. Commissioner, I'll have this case solved in 48 hours. I... Yeah, I know. I... I mean... Uh, but, Commissioner, I promise you I'll... Get out of here. Get out of here, all of you! Scat, beat it! I'm going home. Maybe a good night's sleep will help. I could use a little sleep, too, Chief. Go ahead, curl up in the wastebasket. You're gonna be here all night. Oh, the precinct reports. You forgot to look them over. Uh, give them to me. John Janney, appearing in magic act at Orpheum Theater, wounded in right wrist while cleaning gun. Report telephoned in by theater manager. No further investigation, no. Wait a minute. Matthews, do you realize how important this is? Only because you're excited, and that's nothing new. Look in the files there under L, and you'll find that Lamb, Paul, and Janney are the same man. Then you look in the files under M, and you'll find that Dinah Moran was the woman in the case. Well, if you know all that, why should I look them up? My dear Sergeant Matthews, will you sit in that chair? Now, in your long and colorful and distinguished police career, were you ever called upon to find a man? Sure. How did you go about it? I looked him up in the phone book. Oh, in the phone book. Look, Janney would not list his obvious stage name in a telephone directory. To look him up in that would be an absolute waste of time, and I'll prove it to you. Look here, Janney, J. J. It's before K. J. J. A. J. A. J. A. Oh. John Janney, 10 Mount Street. J See, I... Shut up. Don't say it. Come on. Who is there? Homicide. Inspector Faraday. Uh, just a moment, please. Well, come in, gentlemen. Come in. <laughs> Inspector Faraday, so nice to see you again. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Inspector Faraday. Oh, I beg your pardon. Please forgive me. It has been so long now. Mm -hmm. You were known as Lampo then? Yes, yes. An unfortunate incident. Unfortunate for the man who was murdered? Yes. And unfortunate for you. Mm -hmm. It must be rather embarrassing failing to solve a crime. I solved all of them eventually. Did you know that Dinah Moran had broken out of prison? Escaped? That's right. But no. Mm -hmm. And she's plenty dangerous. Why do you say that? She'd have been released in six months for good conduct. Something important made her break out. She's after something. Yes. Or somebody. Don't you worry, Mr. Janney. You're safe with Matthews and Faraday on the well, case. Well, I feel quite sure of that, yes. And thank you for warning me. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, have a peanut? Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, it is a little trick of mine, of course, too simple for my act, but perfect for him. <laughs> what happened to that hand? I, uh, I was cleaning a gun. Always keep a gun in your dressing room? Yes. As a matter of fact, I use it in my act. Is that a permit for it? But of course. All right, that'll be all for now, Jenny. If you hear of anything that might help us locate Dinah Moran, call me at headquarters. Well, you may be sure I will. Nice of you to drop in, Inspector. Mm -hmm. Possibly we could have lunch together. Oh, that would be a... Don't say it. Oh. Goodbye, gentlemen.
thinks are very good for your butterflies in your stomach. It gives them something soft to sit on. Come on, sit down. Uh, Just like a bulletproof vest with maple syrup on it. Come on, sit down. I can't eat. Now, what are you worried about? Black is the ones in the jam. Any news? Mm, not much. Dinah Moran dropped in last night. Did you get it? Well, the only way I could have stopped it was with a bullet. That's right, Blackie. Never shoot a woman, unless it's absolutely necessary. Now I am sure. She is out to kill me. She is inside in. Well, I should think she would. There's only one little thing against the jealousy angle, Johnny. Huh? She was searching last night, not shooting. What for? That's what I want to find out. I got there in time to see her rummaging through a desk. You don't think she thought Irene was in there, do you? No, I've had enough of this. I'm going to call the police. Oh, now listen. Will you stop trying to shake the building down and tell me what she was after? How should I know? Was it the money? The hundred grand that no one ever found? You're crazy if you think I know anything about that money. Stop. Give me my keys. Sit down. Hey, wait a minute. Ain't you got any manners? I said give me my keys. Wait a minute. You seem to be very interested in three little keys. Hey, maybe they could be important. Maybe. They belong to me. Quiet. What's this one? Mailbox. Mm-hmm. How about this? My car. And how about this? Why do you so degree me? Because I'm curious, that's all. What's this one for? I don't remember. Oh, three little keys and you don't remember, huh? Well, maybe it belongs to, a, to an old stage trunk I threw away. I, oh, I see. You just carry it around for ballast, huh? Right. Mm -hmm. Keep this pointed at him while I get back, will you? Hey. Come on, sit down. Come on. Eat my pancakes. Let's go ahead, they're good. Duplicate for this, please. Well, it's quite an interesting little shop you have here. Yes, sir. I, uh, I suppose being an expert, you can probably tell what every key is for, huh? I bet you can't figure out that one of mine. Yes, sir, I defy any expert to figure that one out. <laughs> Now, this key here, I bet that belongs to a trunk, huh? Young man, you see that lock? Sure. Take a lesson from it. Thirty years I spent working on locks, and in that time I've learned that a man's mouth is like a lock. When you keep your mouth shut up tight, you keep the right things locked in and the wrong things locked out. <laughs> yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, you shouldn't call yourself a specialist if you can't tell me what my key is for. Who says I can't? I say you can't. That's why you're afraid to say anything. <laughs> no key so odd that I can't identify it. Uh, you have a safety deposit box in the state bank. Well, by golly, you're right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. But uh, what branch? I'll bet you can't tell me that. At 10th Street. I got a customer. Mrs. Duffy has a box there. Uh -uh. How do I know it's 10th Street? Because Mrs. Duffy loses at least a dozen keys a year. She does. Look, you'll notice on that key there's a very thin line running right through. Hey, I'm not through with that key yet. Oh, neither am I. Hey, you forgot your chain!
Hello, Mr. Janney. How's tricks? <laughs> <laughs> Standing room only. Have, uh, have you caught the new act? It was swell. I'm thinking about taking the kids next Saturday afternoon. Good, good. Thank you very much. If, uh, if I did not have this game hand, I would write you out a pass. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was playing with my gun, and uh, I got nicked. <laughs> well, that's too bad. But how are you going to sign your card to get into your safety deposit box? Oh, but surely you will take my word for it? Well, after all, who but the great Johnny would wander around town in this silly outfit, huh? <laughs> I think we'd better see Mr. Andrews, our new manager. That'll protect me. Yes, but of course. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Janney, do you have any type of identification? Oh, but of course. <laughs> My car. That's Janney, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, just a moment. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Orphan Theater? I'd like to speak to the manager, please. Oh, uh, uh, speaking? Well, uh... This is Andrews, the State Bank. I'd like to know if anything happened to Mr. John Janney recently. Yes? An accident. I see. While cleaning a gun. I see. Well, I just wanted to make sure. He couldn't sign the slip to get into his safe deposit box. Thanks. I hope you don't mind, Mr. Janney, but uh, you understand we can't be too careful. Certainly. You're simply protecting my interests. <laughs> oh, I... Uh, sorry. Thank you so much. For another passenger? Diner. Drive on. Aren't you being rather foolish? Sure, but I've been foolish all my life. Why stop now? How did you find me? You should be smart enough not to ask trade secrets. Let's have that money. There's enough here for a split, Diner. And you'll be needing help. There's no need for help where I'm going. Give me that money. Now pull up to the curb down there. Get out. What about my car? You can tell the police I'm using it for a hearse. United Nations meeting, sir? To the Orpheum Theater, if you will be so kind. Depends on what develops. Dinah Moran turned up in Johnny's apartment last night, just as I expected. What happened? She rigged the lights and got away. But I found out what she's really after. A hundred thousand dollars. I don't understand. 
Did she expect to find it in Johnny's apartment? Well, you see, when Dinah was tried for murder, one of the big mysteries was the missing money. She claims she left it with Johnny, and now she wants her share. But that can't be. Johnny himself told me he never had anything to do with that money. I'm afraid he lied to you, Irene. But they cleared Johnny completely. Oh, they did at the time, yes. But you see, what really happened, the police were very stupid. Because this is going to be a bit of a shock to you. Johnny hid the money. I don't believe it. Would you believe I know where it is? Never, until you show it to me. They can't identify money. You can't link Jenny to that theft. Well, Irene, it was in $1,000 bills, and all the numbers were recorded. That's why Johnny was afraid to use it. Oh, now, come on. That won't help, really. He lied to me. But I'm sure it was for my sake, for my own peace of mind. Give me the money, Blackie, please. Let me give it back to Dinah Moran. I don't want a penny of it. I just want her to leave us alone. <laughs> you know that Johnny's a pretty lucky guy to have a girl like you feel this way about him. I love him. You must give me the money and let me get in touch with her and give it back to her somehow. Well, it isn't hers, really, or his either, for a matter of fact. Well, as long as she knows I have it, she'll come to me for it. Don't you see, Irene, it's the only chance I have to turn her over to the police and clear myself. But how do you know she'll come to you? Well, she knows I've got the money, and she also knows I'm impersonating Johnny to keep clear of the cops. Been following me all day. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Burton. Hello, Tom. Where have you been? Out of town on business. Nice having you back. Thanks. Nice to be back. Good night. Good night, Tom. Give me the police, quick. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I call your attention to this empty box. And now, watch closely. I have here 100 bills, each one of $1,000 denomination. <laughs> of course, you think this must be stage money, but I assure you, it's real. And I will prove it to you. Other are there some bankers in the audience? Someone who would come up and examine these bills, please? Oh, come, come. Nothing to be ashamed of, bankers. Ah, an expert. Would you mind coming up on the stage, please? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. May I ask your name, please? Uh, Jones. Jones. Would you mind stepping to the center of the stage, Mr. Jones? I, uh, I take it you must be a banker, Mr. Jones. Well, I... I work for one. I see. Then let us call you the brains behind the bunker, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Jones, be so kind as to examine this $1,000 bill, please. See if it's real. Look it all over, Mr. Jones. Oh, yes, it's real. Yes, but of course. And would you mind looking at those, please? Well, they're real. Fine. All of them. Of course. I told you I would prove it to you. Mr. Jones, will you hold on to that bill, please? You're sure that's real? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Jones. Now, what I want you to do is put it in the fire, please. You mean burn it? <laughs> but of course. Oh, no, it's, it's against the law. <laughs> I will protect you. Please, Mr. Jones. It's good. We burn it good. Hey, Chief, they ain't allowed to burn real money. 
Oh, stop worrying. It isn't real. There we are. Thank you. And uh, now, these. Watch, ladies and gentlemen. Thousand dollar bills. It is a shame, is it not? Watch them burn, ladies and gentlemen. And now, in the box. Atasangai, would you mind saying the magic words, Mr. Jones? At a sling high. <laughs> Splendid! Now watch, ladies and gentlemen. You see, they are all restored. Which simply proves that rich or poor, it's nice to have money. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. George. It was a great pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Your office calling, Inspector. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Friday speaking. Johnny murdered? Well, you're crazy. Listen, he's right here on the stage right now. That's one thing I'm sure of. Oh, it must be a case of mistaken identity. Don't tell me what I can see with my own eyes from where I'm standing. I... Yeah, all right. All right, you check into it, too. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, who would like to be sawed in half? <laughs> I'm afraid if we sawed you in half, there would be very little left. <laughs> in the box. In the box. In the box. This way. This way. <laughs> Pardon, ladies and gentlemen. You all right? Jenny got knocked off this afternoon. Jenny murdered? I don't believe it. He's tipping him off to something. Faraday's after you. He's out on that stage right now. You better get out of here. Yeah. We're under arrest, Blackie, for the murder of John Jenny. You're under arrest, Runt, as accomplice in the murder of John Jenny. You can't fool me. Said, don't push. Oh, wait a minute, Matthews. You searched him, didn't you? Uh, no. I turned my back for one minute to make a report and nothing gets done. When are you going to learn ordinary police procedure? I want to be distinctive. You do. Oh. <laughs> All right, and take off that false face. You don't fool anybody with that. Ah, but I did once, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you look. Don't say it. Come on, shell out there. Empty your pockets. Right. Let's see what you've got. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so I'm clean, Faraday. What have you got in that Quonset hut? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe we should take them to the zoo. Oh, shut up and get them in there. Come on. Faraday, you're wonderful. Yeah? I've got to hand it to you. Well. <laughs> uh, shut up. Don't say it. Come on. He's haunted. Here we are again. No place like home. Okay, well, come on, let's have it. Now, what happened? You know, right after you left Burton's apartment, yeah. I heard some funny noises out the hall. So I opened up the door and looked out. That's all I could remember. Until she hit me over the head. Who, Donna Moran? Well, who else but? Well, didn't you get a good look at it? No, I didn't get a chance. And the first thing you know, I saw Jenny laying on the floor and he was dead. Murdered. So I picked him up and I put him in the closet and went out looking for you. Well, how did I know Harry was going to come back so soon? I looked all over for you, couldn't find you any place. Where were you? I was out trying to find the hundred grand that I used at the theater tonight as bait for Dinah Moran. That was a good idea. Yeah. She must be desperate with that murder rap hanging over. She'll probably ransack the theater tonight looking for it, figuring I'd hit it before Faraday caught up with me. Look, Blackie, why don't you let me tell them that I killed Jane? They'll get you out. Oh, thanks, Ron. That won't do any good. They'll still blame me for Dinah Moran being on the loose. But she'll never find that money. 
Hey, you haven't got the dough on you, have you? Fair to your frisk us all over again. Oh, uh, I haven't got the money on me. I shouldn't do this, lady. You're gonna have just about a minute with him, no more. Hey, you got company. You shouldn't have come down here, Irene. I only wanted you to know that I, I don't blame you for what happened. If only they didn't find the money on you. Well, who said they did? Don't forget that Blackie's hands are quicker than Faraday's eyes. Yes, that's right. I, uh... I hid the money in that magic box just before we were sword run in hand. Hey, you gotta go. The chief just came in. Goodbye. Bye, Irene. Boy, that dame is sure stuck on that guy, Jenny. If she ever runs into that dame Moran... <whistles> brother. Rock, we gotta get out of here. Oh, yeah? Well, just how? I don't know. Looks as though we're going to be in here a long time, Run. Yes. Yes, yes it does. How about brushing up on that mind-reading routine of ours, huh? Right. Yes, I, uh... <clears throat> I think it's a good idea. Uh, got a handkerchief? Yes, I have. I think I'll get it. I haven't done it for a long time. All right. Well, let's do a little practicing All here. All right. I'll tie this tightly around my head. No place to go anyway. That's right. Uh-huh. Now, look, relax. Now, make them easy. Don't give me hard. No, I won't give you any hard ones, but you got to remember, you got to relax. All right. Okay, uh... All right, I'm going to start with the first one. All right. And try to give you an easy one. Mm-hmm. I'm concentrating. <laughs> I think. Mm-hmm. What do I have here? A tie. That's right, it's a tie is right. Absolutely a tie. How do you like that? It's pretty good. All right, now you're ready for the second I'm one? I'm ready. Okay, relax now, concentrate. What do I have here? Suspenders. Absolutely right, oh, 100%. I, I knew I had that's it. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this is a toughie. All right. You gotta concentrate. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I have here? That has a familiar ring to it. It's a ring. You're a ring. absolutely right. It's a ring. How do you uh, like hey, it? Hey, that's all right. How do you do that? Oh, it's... Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to give him a real tough one now. Toughy, huh? What am I pointing at? A very handsome policeman. <laughs> right? You're absolutely right. <laughs> I like, like that. that. Hey, that's, that's pretty good, fellas. Can anybody do that? Anybody can oh, do it sure. if I teach him. I taught the rut in five minutes. That's right. You mean you could teach me to uh, concentrate and read, yeah, and read your mind? Of course. You don't think I can see through the handkerchiefs? Oh, you? you got a lot of holes in it, don't I you? I have not. Look at that. Holes in it? You see a hole in that? Look. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah, can I do it? Of course. But come on in. I got, I'll try anything once. Why, <laughs> sure. Come on right in. We're all together. We got no place to go, and I mean, it's a lot of fun. Just, just... make yourself come. Sure. Yeah, sure. Like show, show people do that, and I yeah, think it's a lot of we'll fun. We'll teach you right. five minutes. That's, that's all. right. Now, here we go. Now, loosen your hands. Be careful. Just, that's right. Relax. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, can you see through that? Oh, by golly, I can. <laughs> can you breathe? Can you breathe? Are you sure you can't see through that? Not a thing. No. Good. Good. Now, in order to relax and concentrate, you have to count up to 20. Up to 20. Slowly. Slow. Mm -hmm. One, two, Oh, no, no, three. no, that's too fast. Too fast. You see, after you count up to 20, you realize exactly what's on our minds. I can read your mind. You can read our minds. Oh, that's good. Now, here we go. One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven, fine. eight, uh -huh. nine, 10, 11, 12, no, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, I'm relaxing, I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating. Hey, fellas! Hey, fellas! Hey, you can't do this to me! Hey, Chief! Oh, boy, what a dumbbell! Hey, Chief! Let me out of here! We'll have a dragnet out for us in ten minutes. We've got to separate. Good, I'm gonna go home and rest. No, you're not. You're going uptown. Uptown? Yeah. Listen, wait a minute. They got a price on my head up there. They'll nab me as sure as you're born. That's what I'm hoping. If they nab you uptown, they'll think I'm uptown, too. But I won't be there, you see? No, I don't. But I'll go anyway. Dead about six hours, shot in the back below the heart. Mm-hmm. You hear that, Burton? Murder rap isn't as easy to beat as bookmaking. Did Blackie have a key to your apartment? Sure he had one. I gave out lots of keys. Always open house at Harry Burton's. 
Did Blackie know you were going to be out of town? That's right. My friends didn't expect me back for at least a week. It all adds up. Blackie's going around pretending he's Janny when Janny is dead in an apartment to which Blackie has a key. You know something, Chief? That's exactly how I had it figured out. Uh -huh. Only I was waiting for you to speak first. Well, you never have before. We just got a flash, Inspector. Blackie and the run escaped from jail. What, again? Blackie on the loose. Were you holding him for murder, Inspector? No! Let me get to that phone. Me too. Uh, it's bent. It's bent. Well, Blackie, how convenient. She's dead. You've been looking everywhere for Dinah. There she is. So it was you. You got rid of Jenny, too, huh? Now you know. So it was you and not Dinah who came to Jenny's apartment the other night when I was there. You think so? You didn't expect to find anyone there, and it was your first good chance to really search the place. Can you prove it? All the time you were engaged to Jenny, you were after the money. You know, Irene is a sort of amateur detective. I'm rather curious to know how you found out about it. Since you're going to pay the penalty for two murders, I don't see why I shouldn't tell you. I wouldn't want to deny the condemned man his last wish. Well, now, that's very nice of you. I suppose Johnny confessed. Yes. But he wouldn't tell me where he hid the money. He wouldn't trust anybody when it came to that. So you decided to marry him? But not for love, I can assure you. When he divorced Dinah, you needled her with unsigned notes hoping she'd make a break for it and lead you to the money. Naturally. Then the marriage wouldn't have been necessary. That's very smart thinking. There's one bet that you didn't cover. Me. That's a bet I didn't need to cover. You led me to the money that you hid in the box, which I'll pick up after the police take you away. Get over there. You know, that thing might go off. It might. Police headquarters, please. I'll be a front page heroine for catching you. Oh, sure, yeah. Hello, police headquarters. Connect me with Inspector Faraday, please. Are you gonna tell us what you were doing uptown? Mm-hmm. Just walking. Listen, you'll take your last walk if you don't spill what you know, Runt. Yeah, Faraday speaking. What? I'll be right down. I must be slipping. I should have known when you're uptown, Black is downtown. Come on, Matthews. You too, Runt. Come on. There. Have a good cry for yourself. Mmm, lovely. What is that? <laughs> well, we might as well be entertained while we're waiting. How's about a little music, huh? Get away from that machine. No, 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 no. It'll calm your nerves. Isn't that wonderful? Shut that thing off. Yes, ma'am. You confessed to killing Johnny and Dinah, and now your nerves are snapping. If you don't calm down, you'll give yourself away. No one but you knows I killed them. And the electric chair makes a very bad witness stand. Yes, it's rather done. All right, spread out. Cover all the entrances. Come here, you run. Go ahead. This way, Inspector. Hello, Inspector. All right, I'll take that lady. Come on, Blackie. 
There's your murderer, Inspector. Pretending to help Janny and me, and, and all the time he was after money. <laughs> you won't think it's so funny, Blackie. I promise you that... Save your promises until after you've heard Irene's confession. Confession? Well, yes, yeah, sugar. You know that, uh, that little conversation we had before the inspector arrived? <sighs> You're wasting your time, Blackie. Am I? You don't think I'm fool enough to get a confession without being able to prove it, do you? Let's see you prove it. You see, I was all set to record Irene's confession on this recording setup. Because I thought she'd kill Johnny. Listen. You confessed to killing Johnny and Dinah, and now your nerves are snapping. If you don't calm down, you'll give yourself away. Watch her, Rat. Get her, Rat. Get her. Come back here, lady. So you don't like hearing your own confession, huh? I should have finished you off, too. Why not? You might as well be electrocuted for killing three people as two. She had an airtight plan all worked out. They always have. Yeah. All right, where's the money? Blackie has it. He hit it in one of the props. Well, I hate to disappoint you, Irene, but I'm afraid you wouldn't have found it there. Well, then who has got it? Matthews has got it! Sure. I planted it in his pocket for safekeeping while he was searching me tonight. There you are, Inspector. Well, I'll be... Don't say it. Get out of my sight. And take her with you. Of all the lump-headed lummoxes of... She's such a pretty girl, too. All right, now I want to tell you a few things. All right, Inspector. The police department was just waiting for Dinah Moran's release, knowing that she would lead us straight to this money, if she and Janney had hidden it. So you needn't feel so cocky about solving this case single-handed. I'd have done it myself. I never quit on an unsolved case, and you know that, don't you? Oh, yes. yes. All right. Now, let's hear the rest of that confession. You mean right from the beginning? From the top. When dumber inspectors are born, they'll be named Faraday. <laughs> <laughs> Ventriloquism, Inspector. Work. It's a great art. You know, it's part of every magician's stock and trade. And I can do that and drink a glass of water at the same time. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. <laughs> laugh, will you? <laughs> That's it, Faraday. <laughs> <laughs>